today's shave, we're going to be using Soapy Bathman Barbershop Quartet and the beautiful curved brass in uh, an open comb configuration. So if you like the sounds of that, stay tuned. Let's get our shave on. Greetings friends, welcome to my demo me, J Mac, the Red Island Shaver. So glad to have you all aboard for this uh, Monday shave to cap off the week. Also like to say a quick thank you to uh, the new subscribers, picked up a few over the weekend and uh, I really do appreciate that. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the content here and uh, enjoy the fun that we have here on the, uh, the Red Island Shaver channel. So reaching into some of the unobtonium and that is Soapy Bathman Barbershop Quartet and Ooh, ooh, what a scent. Mm -mm -mm. Love, love, love this one. And uh, it's based on this classic, Brute. That's right. So uh, this was uh, Chris's take on Brute. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. If you love Brute, you would love this one. Gonna go with my uh, Spiffo Jackson today with a 26 millimeter high mountain white badger. And we'll just get in here and start loading right from the tub, because that's how we do it here on the Red Island. Hopefully everybody's having a good week. Everything, uh, your Monday is off to a, to a good start. I know Mondays suck for some people, but you know what? Every day that you wake up and you're able to complain about it, that's a good day indeed. It's a very, very good day indeed. That's the way you, you got to look at it. And we'll just get in here and lather the, the ever-loving heck out of this. And we'll drop the brush in the sink, because why not? I think that's probably a good load. I don't use this soap all that often, so I don't really have it dialed in 100% as far as the, uh, the loading ratio goes, but I think that's probably more than sufficient. This is in his Shea. Formula, his newer, newer for his newest formula is what this one is in. And uh, Chris no longer makes soaps, unfortunately. Kind of went the way of the dodo bird, and uh, he stopped making soaps, which sucks. I was a huge, well, still am a huge fan of Soapy Bath Man. Um, I was right from the get go. Uh, it's one of his. I'd like to say I'm one of his earlier supporters, like a real steadfast supporter, like, you know, behind the brand and the product 100% and uh, kind of helped, I don't want to say helped get him into the U.S., but he didn't have a whole lot of exposure in the U.S. until the bunch of us Canadians really started uh, promoting it, especially in the American shave groups and then places like uh, Badger and Blade on the forums back in the day. So uh, and then he started getting traction down there and then uh, and then he stopped making soap. <laughs> so I do believe Chris, uh, Chris went vegan and uh, these are tallow based soaps and uh, he didn't want to reformulate. I don't believe and uh, so we just kind of let it die out, which is unfortunate, but I mean, you know, things change and and stuff like that. And if, you know, if he, if he didn't feel he wanted to put the effort into, uh, you know, really reformulating a kick-ass vegan soap, then he probably wouldn't undertake it because Chris, uh, uh, Chris Erskine was very uncompromising on quality. So I think if, if he didn't feel he could put the effort into uh, creating a top-notch product than he wouldn't because he, he Chris didn't half-ass anything so you know, gotta respect a man for that uh, and it's still a great product it's it's still a great base even compared you know to today's soaps and all the bases it lathers easy it's nice and slick Feels good on the skin. It does tick all those boxes. Yeah, this is gonna lather real quick. So the set notes on this, um, all I can go by is Brute. And Brute's got a lot going on. It's got, you know, your anise. Uh, it's got sandalwood, vetiver, tonka, geranium, vanilla, ylang ylang. 
bergamot, lemon. It's just, it's got a whole schwack of stuff going on. Just a really nice fougier. And uh, this one is pretty close to brew. Uh, I really do like it. It's it's just a great barber shop scent. And you can see this lather. It's just coming together great. I love this brush too. It's so soft. So soft. There's no scritch on the face. No roughness. There's nice and soft for face lathering. But as you can see, there's no flop. And it... Uh, it's just got all that good backbone you need to make the lather. And I'd say we're there. I don't want to hydrate that anymore. So we'll just work it back and forth just a wee little bit. Build up some more peaks, but... Yeah. That's a pretty good quick face lather, I think. I can, I can definitely roll with that. Oh, great scent. Great scent, and the reason I'm going with bur yeah, look at that. Okay, you think you think we've got enough lather for uh for three passes there? I think I think we will I think we'll survive. And this is of course for the BBS.live Berber Shop Week. That's right, it's Berber Shop Week. Here in uh, YouTube and Instagram land. So get your barbershop scents out and enjoy some nice classic barbershop shaves. Uh, don't forget to post it on Instagram and uh, at bbs.live and hashtag barbershop week. And uh, Nate and Ormel will, uh, they will uh, share your post. So going with the uh, Carve Brass, the one that started it all, the, the Carve that started the addiction. Yeah, a good little bit of patina on this one. We have a brand new People's Blade in here, the Wizomet, with the uh, B-Plate Open Comb. I had such a killer shave with uh, the brass carve yesterday with the uh, safety bar plate. So I just had to go again today with it and uh, of course throw on the Open Comb for just a little bit of excitement. Super smooth. One thing I love about the, the Curve Open Combs is just how smooth the teeth are on the face. Some teeth feel sharp and toothy on some, on some safety razors. Uh, not with the Curve. It's uh, super smooth on the face and uh, just feels great. Nice first pass. Nice and easy. Just the way we like it. Go back to that brush. Lather is nice and stable. Not as absolutely full of it. And we'll get lathered up for pass number two. Yeah, that's a good lather. We got a sufficient amount of lather actually in the brush itself and in the flow through. So this brush is just chock full of it. It's giving it up easily. That's what we like to see. So hopefully everybody is, uh, I think I already said that. I guess everybody's doing good today. I'm not really overly busy today. I'm going to do a quick little promo for the upcoming Canadian Mafia show. So I'll sling my guitar and fire up the, the beautiful Vox amplification and do a little something something. And we're going to pass number two. Very hefty razor, this curve, especially with the four inch handle, uh, 120 grams. So very hefty, I like it. Good amount of weight to do the work. Still have to put a bit of pressure on the skin though, a bit of positive pressure just to make sure that blade is at the proper, uh, proper angle and the proper amount of uh, contact with the skin for the blade to actually do the work. Ride the cap a little bit on these curves. And you do that and you are in the smooth shaved zone. Man, the shape's going really 
really, really well, really, really quick. Man, love it. It's one of those, uh, one of those like mindless shaves. You don't really have to think about what you're doing. When you have good gear, nice soaps, nice products, you don't, you don't even think about the shave. You just, you enjoy it. You're just in the moment, but you're not thinking about things like angle, pressure, soap, uh, slickness, worrying about, you know, if your lather's going to dry out, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, just, you don't even think about any of that. You just, you just put the steel, the skin, man, and you just shave. Love it. All right. This is the money pass against the grain. So we'll do a quick little... Quick little angle here, and then just use that residual slickness. And go straight across the grain for the BBS. Always got this frickin' patch right here that's very stubborn. Yeah, that's good enough. That's close enough for today. Kind of back on the daily shaving kick, actually, so. Change things up a little bit technique-wise, and uh, it's affording me the ability to uh, daily shave without irritation, or a very minimal irritation, so. For me, it just comes down to the right blade choice, the right razor choices. I don't want to go, uh, don't go too aggressive with the razors. Uh, I've been using the Shavettes a lot. I find them very gentle on the skin. It makes it easier to do a subsequent shave the next day. And then, of course, my plate choices on my razors or on my adjustables. Uh, you know, a nice, easy mild setting because that's that's where my happy place is is milder shaving razors with a very very sharp blades so that combination works well for me and for some other people they may need a more aggressive razor with maybe a slightly i don't want to say duller blade because all blades are sharp but maybe one that's not as wicked sharp you know as a feather or a or a wisomet or a nas set or something like that right so that's the big key to uh, to this lifestyle. It's kind of kind of finding what works for you, and then for me, you know, I found what works for me, and then I basically I've stayed in that lane. I haven't really strayed from it, and uh, that's why you don't really see a whole lot of new gear on my channel because just I know what works for me uh, for day to day, and um, that's the lane I kind of like to stay in. That way I can get consistent, uh, consistent shaves. That's a nice squeaky BBS right there. You know when the towel squeaks on your skin, you've gotten a great smooth shave. All right, so we're going to go with the 2 4 We're going to go with the matching balm, which is pretty liquid. And this has got a bit of menthol in it, menthol level number 2. Get a bit more of that. This bomb is extremely old, but it still uh, it still works. It's not rancid. It still smells good, so I still use it. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. We'll just give that a quick second to soak in. Feel that little bit of menthol tingle on the face. Feels good. All right, now we will go for, make this the trifecta. We'll go with the classic Brute aftershave over the top of that. This pairs wonderfully well since it's based on Brute. Not a, not a perfect copy, but pretty damn close. So. Oh, yeah. Total luxury today, I tell you. Bomb and splash. 
Oh, I love that classic scent of Brut. Oh, it's just so, so green and, and a bit of powder and oh, a bit of vanilla and the spices. Mm, absolutely love it. All right, so that is the shave for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, ringing that notification bell so you know when I upload. Leave a like and a comment below. Uh, I love interacting with everybody here on my channel. So until next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another. Most importantly, have a great dating, better shave, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.